Hey guys, Weewoo here, and for this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to re-script weaponry on vehicles and statics easily. That's just a little example, but we're going to basically take the weaponry off of a Warhammer 40k Executioner and put it on a Rhino. So, in order to do this, uh, I prefer to do it through the Zeus interface and then take the commands I make and apply them in a mission file through Eden. But when I'm making this stuff, I prefer to have a mission uh, through 3 Eden Enhanced. Now, when I make these files, I prefer to do it through a test file through the Eden editor, meaning uh, I'm in Eden right now, I'm not on a server, and I've hit the play button to uh, run a few things with a single unit, my Zeus interface. And I also prefer to do it with the Zeus enhanced mod and not Achilles. And I'll explain why when we get there, but there's one feature that makes this a lot easier uh, so I don't have to sift through a bunch of code. But otherwise, we're gonna take some base templates here. So I'm gonna take this vehicle and copy it, and this vehicle and copy it, and delete all the guys in there. And so you know that it doesn't already have everything on it. We're gonna go in, and you can see it has its normal 120 millimeter cannon again in the coax. And we're going to put the weaponry on that Vic onto that Vic. Now, when you're doing this, there's three things you have to consider because there are three things you have to define when you run the scripts that I'm going to show you. One is the weapon itself, uh, the class name of it. Two, the class names of the ammunition the weapon can use. And three, where the weapon is assigned to in terms of driver, gunner, commander, and any additional seats. For example, you see that this uh, Lehman Russ has two Sponson turrets that are also tied to individual units, and we have five guys in there that have almost full control. You need a sixth guy to control that one, but we'll get there in just a moment. So I'm going to tab out real quick and grab my first script. Now, these scripts are going to be available in the video description, and I will label which one is which. So this is going to be the first one. Now, in order to properly rescript a vehicle, you have to remove the class name of the vehicle's weaponry and then add the class names of a different vehicle's weaponry and its ammunition and make sure that everything is properly defined when it comes to where the weapons are assigned to in terms of the driver, gunner, commander, and any additional seats. So this first command is going to go for defining the weapon turret um, class names. We'll get to ammunition later. Now, what this command basically does is it's making, uh, it's gathering a list of the weapon turrets assigned to the gunner, and then telling the command to give those, uh, give that information in my clipboard, AKA when you control C something, the information goes to your clipboard, and when you do control V, it pastes the clipboard. Now. Real quick, before I even run that command, I want to define this variable for you. So let me tab out and grab this little line of text to help you guys out. So, negative one is the driver. So if the driver has access to any guns or the horn of the vehicle, you would put negative one in that box. Zero is the gunner, and then zero comma zero is the commander, and then Anything above that, such as those Sponson guns, or even that front middle gun that uh, it's a heavy bolter, are additional seats outside of the driver, gunner, or commander. So you would use one, two, three, four, however many seats going forward to give access to weaponry to more vehicles. Uh, excuse me, not vehicles, but more people in the vehicle, depending on if it is supposed to fire. And even then, it'll still spawn stuff for those uh, players to fire, which can get quite interesting when you deal with transport vehicles. But otherwise, with that defined, we're going to rescript the gunner and the commander's vehicles. So I'm going to hit OK and then control V, and now it has given me the v weaponry defined that the gunner can use. So this is the main cannon, and this is the coax. So I'm gonna take this information, open a notepad, and paste it 
so I can go back to it later and then hit escape. Now I am going to go back, grab that command again, and we're going to now do it for the commander. So zero comma zero, hit okay, and then paste again. And now you'll see the commander has access to the countermeasure smoke launcher, the 12.750 cal, uh, they're nearly identical in terms of caliber, but the uh, HMG on the top turret and the laser designator. Now, the only thing I'm gonna rescript though is this HMG, but for now, I will copy this information and again, put it on the notepad on the side. Grabbing the command again, we're going to want to take the weaponry from this vehicle and put it on. So again, copy, paste, and then we have access to the executioner gun. Now here's the thing, it doesn't have a coax tied to it. This is a debug variable for the 700s because I'm using their mod set for this one. So we can go ahead and ignore that, but this is the class name of the main gun. But the commander doesn't usually get something to use to fire. So instead we're going to use the front gun, that Mars heavy bolter on the front, but it's not defined as the commander to use. It's actually defined as an additional crewman to use. So we hit one in there because it's the first seat on top of the uh, top three that sit there that use it. And then boom, we get the heavy bolter. Now, let me further explain that for you because I know that might be a little tough for you guys to understand. Let me take three copies of myself and tie them together and put them in that vehicle. So you've got the driver, the commander and the gunner. Now, if I were to remote the commander, he only has access to the smoke screen, and that's it. Now, if we put a fourth guy in there and tie him to it, this would be the fourth seat. There he is, and he's got access to this front gun. And this is the gun that I want to use to put on the top turret of that Rhino. So that's why we used a one to define that gun because we just had to find where it's being referenced to in this vehicle. Now, we have those class names put off to the side, but we're still going to need the magazine class names in order to, after we script on the weapon, you still have to script on its ammunition. So in order to do that, we have to go to the second line of code that we have in the video description and put it here. Now, this one's a little more tricky, and this is why I recommend we do Zen on top of Achilles. Also, quick thing to note on the side, if you're doing it in Zen, every time you say this to define the vehicle itself, you have to put a, uh, I forget what symbol that is, but uh, you have to put the, uh, the underline there because using this without it, uh, Zen doesn't recognize it. Again, Zen being Zeus enhanced. But if you're doing this in Achilles, you don't need that little underline right there. But otherwise, let me show you what you would get if you were to simply run this command. Because note, you don't have a spot to define if it's coming from the driver, gunner, commander, or anything. This is giving you all of the turret magazines. So if I hit OK, and now paste, you get this massive line of code. Now, in order to know what type of ammunition is actually being used, you could dig through the variables here with all the code, or if you're using Zen, you can simply click the loadout button. And then you can see, based off of the class name, what it actually has a magazine tied to. Now, when you're rescripting weaponry, you are rescripting the magazine of the weapon, not the individual rounds, unless the magazine is an individual round. And there are some vehicles out there that do do that. But for the most part, it's something like this. And with Zeus Enhanced, again, Zen, you can actually set to see every gun that can be fired on this, but it doesn't deal with smoke launchers and uh, countermeasures or horns or um, laser designators. So you would still have to rely on rescripting those uh, with the commands I'm giving you and uh, not Zen. But anyway, uh, also again, it shows you every possible type of ammunition that can be utilized. So if instead of 200 rounds, you wanted a 2000 round belt because you wanted 10 times the ammunition, you now know the variable name. And in order to get it again, you can, you have a list right here. You can just dig for that information or just type it by hand. But anyway, we're gonna take this list of variables here and put it in our notepad. And then we're going to tab out again. And we're going to escape that, go here, 
and then we get another big list of weapons to utilize. So I'm gonna go in the notepad as well and paste that down. Now, this is where it gets a little messy, so bear with me here. We're going to go to the third line of code. Let me get that real quick. I'm gonna paste it in our blank as well, and I am going to just undefine a few things here. Hit escape there, double click the Rhino, and this is where we're actually going to type the code to re-script the weaponry of the Rhino. So, when you are taking weaponry off of a vehicle, you don't have to remove the magazine because once you remove the weapon, any player AI loses the ability to utilize the magazine off the gun, so you don't have to worry about it. The one issue you might run into, though, is if you want to use a different type of magazine on a gun platform that can also use the magazines off of the other weapon platform, you might then have to unscript that magazine. Let's say, again, if you want to unscript the 200 round belt for the 2000 round belt. And that would be another command called remove magazine turret, and you can look it up. But otherwise, for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to worry about removing weapon turrets and adding weapon turrets and their respective magazines. So, we're going to first remove the commander's main gun. Excuse me, the gunner's main gun, because we're going with the zero here. So if I tab out and we go back to what we have listed on our notepad we're keeping off the side, we already have that. So make sure you take the name and you put it in the quotation marks. Don't put the name and the quotation marks in because otherwise the code doesn't know what you're properly defining. So just make sure you take that name. And again, since it's part of the gunner's seat, you keep that as zero. Now, notice I only have one line of code here. So all you gotta do is just take this, copy it, paste it. And now we can unscript the second gun, which is the coax. That is defined as this, according to what we copy and pasted earlier. And again, it's part of the gunner, so we unscript that out. Then we take a copy from this to the uh, semicolon, paste, and now we're going to do the commander's gun. So it's gonna be zero comma zero. And we're going to take this, delete it, tab out. And we had the HMG 12.7. Whoops, my copy paste just did a little bad there, but that's okay. And now we paste that there. And now what this is going to do is remove all of the turrets uh, that are tied to the vehicle already. To show you what that looks like on its own, let me just quickly copy and paste this giant line of code, just so I can remove the ads, just so you can understand how this code works. And now, I'm in the gunner seat, but I have no access to any weapons. Go to the commander seat, that was driver, my bad. And all I have is the laser designator and the smoke launcher, because we didn't unscript those because I felt like keeping them, but you can take them out if you want to in the same fashion. So now we're going to add weaponry to this vehicle. So going back in the Zeus interface, I'm going to copy and paste this code back in. And it doesn't matter if the removes are there, it'll still run, but it won't detect them. Nothing will break. So we're gonna start adding weaponry. So if we tab out, we can grab that plasma cannon we copied from the other vehicle and paste that in there and now we can add a suitable magazine for that plasma gun now we didn't actually go over this step so i am going to copy this again paste it outside on the notepad and again show you what to do just as a little bit of a recap so again we'll grab the second line of code in the video description double click on this, execute it, hit OK again, paste, and then go to loadout. And for the main turret gun, which is what we want to use, it looks like that other line of code actually is a coax stubber, so we'll add that too to this. But we have this, so S5 TIOW plasma cannon executioner mag. 
And then for this, it is Arc Stubber Replacement. All right, cool. So now we know what magazines to add for that in that big line of code that we have. So I will go ahead, repaste that line of code we got from running that one command, which is all of this stuff, hit cancel, double click on this, and we'll go back to the giant line of code we are making. So we're gonna add a second gun for the coax, which is going to be that heavy stubber we saw earlier. So we are going to copy and paste this line of code, paste it again, and it is going to be that other thing, that S5 ASR you saw, which I said not to worry about earlier, but it actually was a weapon. And we're gonna paste that there. And again, it's tied to the gunner, so it's zero comma zero. But now we also want to make sure that we add the commander's gun as well. So this is gonna be zero comma zero. And then we're going to clear that and we're going to add the commander's weapon, which we decided was going to be that heavy bolter. So we'll go ahead and paste that there. So that would rescript all of the weaponry, but not the ammunition. The ammunition comes from this. So now we have to put in three lines of code here for our ammunition. And I didn't check on the bolter itself, which I should have, but instead we have the giant line of code so we can just figure it out ourselves. So. First and foremost, the coax. And it doesn't matter what order you run these codes in, it's just better practice to run the remove weaponry first, just in case you add any duplicates. Like for example, if you say add weapon mag and then remove weapon mag, if you added a weapon mag that's identical to the mag that you said to remove, there's gonna be no change because you added one thing and then you removed it next. So that's why I like to do my removals first and then my additions, but either way you can do whatever works for you. So we're gonna add the Stubber Replacement Magazine. We're gonna take then a uh, copy paste of this code. And we now need to add the Plasma Gun Magazine, which tabbing out and then coming back in, we can replace that. And again, it's tied to the gunner, so it's gonna be zero. And then we copy paste this line of code. And this is gonna be zero comma zero. And now we need to find that heavy bolter magazine, which might take me a second because there's a lot of code to go through here. I'm passing through the smoke launchers. Here we go. T-I-O-W-I-G heavy bolter mag. And I just ran through it a little too quickly. Give me one second. Sometimes if you accidentally drag up or down in a notepad, it then highlights the entire line and you lose your place. It's fine. But there we go, we have it now. And then we paste it. Now before you execute, take a copy of it and then paste it somewhere in your notepad just in case, because you might screw it up. Hit okay. And this is why I like doing it in Eden, by the way, because now it's telling me that there's a script error and it didn't work. So I'm missing a right bracket somewhere. So now I'm going to go quickly check through my code and figure out where that right bracket is missing. This might take me a second, so I might speed up the footage. All right, so when I checked the code, I found out that I accidentally have been double uh, quoting some of these variables, which has been causing script errors. So now I'm just gonna go back and delete all of the double quotes I made. And that should be it. Now we're going to take another copy of the code and we're gonna repaste it over the previous one we made and now try to execute it. Do you hear that sound? That's a great confirmation to hear to know it worked, especially on vanilla vehicles because they have reloading sound. So if we go to gunner, you see now I've got the plasma mag on. Let's shoot at uh, that thing. Excellent. And then we have the stubber on the coax, which just acts like a normal one because it's the same thing, but it fires from that spot. And then commander's gun, if we hit F, we get the heavy bolter. Now, one thing to quickly note, look at where that smoke's coming from. It's coming from the center. That's something you can't fix uh, when you rescript weaponry without actually cracking open the vehicle, vehicle's PBO and redefining things, but the bullet, should come from the commander gun, if not the center of the vehicle, and still looks somewhat realistic. 
Now, if you want multiple magazines, by the way, you just have to execute this magazine code multiple times. And it'll give you multiple magazines. See how it's now changed to a four on the top right? That way I can reload. Okay, this is one of the vehicles that lets you reload, so you just have to drain the entire magazine. This might take a second. And then it reloads for you. And then, if I want, Again, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I can get out of this because I'm in a preview file for uh, Eden, uh, the three, uh, excuse me, um, Eden editor. And then I can just take my Rhino, paste it down, and then I can just copy and paste that code in the init, the entire code here, not just the magazine, and let's delete all the people inside. Hit play. Hit OK. Now, this might not work because this will actually be a good test for me as well because I haven't finished on a mission file I needed all this for. But do the underlines for this work in that? They do not. OK, so very important. If you're doing this in Achilles or if you're doing it in the Eden editor, make sure you take out those underlines under this. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So again, because it's a Zen only thing, it works. You hear it, but if you actually go and abort, you need to take out all of those underlines in front of this. So if we were to remove that, 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 and that. You can also always copy and paste it in Notepad++ and just tell Notepad++ to remove. Well, actually, no, you shouldn't do that because you also have underlines in some of the commands here. But let's just verify, going line by line. Seems like I got them all. We hit OK. We play. Execute everything again. Hit play. You can hear it. It's changing the weaponry. Don't worry about that. That's not an issue tied to the Vic. And you have your stuff again. Otherwise, that is pretty much how it works, guys. I do wish you luck on all of your coding endeavors. There's a lot of cool things you can do with this line of code. And to uh, any communities that uh, were worried that their mission makers would find out about this, I apologize in advance. But anyway, that is this tutorial, guys. It was a little bit of a lengthier one, but I had a two-hour stream a week ago where we basically rescripted a bunch of CSAT vehicles have TIOW weaponry. It was really fun, but I hope you learned something nonetheless. And if there's something you want to learn, but you don't know how to, uh, like you need a good tutorial for it or something, please ask me in the YouTube comments. I will put it on my to-do list and I will hopefully get something back to you soonish. But otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go operate operationally. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Cheers and have a good one.